Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel and welcome to AI and machine learning tutorials. In this tutorial we explain how to download, install locally and run locally one amazing model for generating 3D objects from 2D images. The name of this model is Hun Yuan 3D number 2. The model is running in the background and over here you can see a simple graphics user interface that's running locally on your computer completely privately and completely safely. So you will just upload the image over here, for example this image, then you will click over here on generate shape and texture and at the end you will obtain this model and you can later on download this model, that is you can just save this model and open it from any other 3D program such as Blender. And once you open the model in the Blender you will see this amazing 3D model and you can start building your character, animation or anything else starting from this amazing model. This significantly speeds up the modeling time. A lot of viewers of my channel are constantly asking me what does it mean for a model to be executed locally. Well, when the model is executed locally, this means that you have completely downloaded model weights and the model parameters from the internet and you are running the model completely locally on your computer. That is, you're going to use your GPU and your processor to run the model. And you can even run the model without internet. Over here, the graphics user interface is generated in the web browser on this local address. That is, I'm not accessing internet by using the web browser. I'm just using this API generated in Gradio to run this model. But before we start with explanations, it's very important to understand the necessary hardware and to understand the prerequisites for running this software. First of all, I tested this software on NVIDIA 39 GPU, which has 24 GB of VRAM. Note that VRAM is very important for running these models. If you have a GPU that has a low VRAM, then you might not be able to load the model. Then I'm having 64 gigabyte of RAM. Again, also RAM memory is very important. Then I'm running on Intel i9 processor. For these type of models, processor speed is not crucial. However, you should have up-to-date processor. Then I'm running the model on Windows 11 and this is very important. I'm running the model on Python 3.12. You either should install Python 3.12 or Python 3.11. So what's the reason for that? Well, if you install Python 3.13, I notice that you will not be able to install PyTorch CUDA version, which is necessary to run this model. So if you have Python 3.13, better downgrade to Python 3.12, and you can easily do that by just going to Python website and by just downloading Python 3.12. I will explain that later on. Then you need to have CUDA toolkit with CUDA compilers 12.6. I will explain how to do download them and install them later on. And then you need to have Microsoft Visual Studio C++ compilers. I'm using compilers version 2022 that come with community edition. Okay, so let's start with installation of prerequisites. First of all, open Google and search for Microsoft Visual Studio C++ and then click on the top link over here and then scroll down, click here on the Community Edition. Once you click, a file will be downloaded. Just click on the installation file and follow the procedure and you will install Microsoft Visual Studio C++ compilers. Okay. Next, you need to install NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit 12.6. I didn't test it on other versions of NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit, so my suggestion is to install NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit 12.6. Search for this version, go to this web page, and the installation is simple. Click on Windows, click on Architecture, click on 11 Windows if you're using 11 or 10, and click on Executable File, that is, you will download this file over here. Once you download the file, double click on the file and the installation will go smoothly. And then finally you need git for Windows. You need git for Windows to download the remote repositories. So click here, click 
64-bit git for windows setup click there download the file install it and that's it then you are ready to go however let's not forget one very important thing and that's the python version so to download the proper version of python search for download python then go on this website scroll down and you will see the previous python versions for example i'm using this python version go over here and download the installation file and that's it and we can start our journey okay so let's start with installation first of all open a command prompt and then i'm going to resize this window such that you can see what i'm typing and at the same time you can follow this tutorial let's first verify that you have nvidia cuda toolkit compilers installed to do that type this and as the response you should see something like this then let's verify that you have git just type git and you should see this response let's continue okay next make sure that you're in the home folder or better to say in the base c drive and then you need to clone the remote repository that is you need to type this command so if you want to know what you're doing you need to search for Juan Yan 3d2 github and this is the page so let's click here and this link is the link we need so just copy this link and here's the web page go here and type git clone this command will actually download all the folders and files from this remote repository to your local disk and it will download them in a newly created folder called Juan Yan 3d so press enter and wait for a while okay so let's navigate to the new folder here it is and all the files are over here know that these files are the exact copies of the files of this remote repository the next step is to create a python virtual environment such that you can install everything that is all the packages and python libraries to do that you first of all need to run this and wait for a while this will create a python virtual environment then you need to activate the python virtual environment then let's start with installation of the libraries first of all make sure that you install hugging face hub library and the next step is to install pytorch and you need to install pytorch with cuda support so let's learn how to do that okay so to install pytorch you need to search pytorch locally or pytorch install locally click here on the web page and over here you will see the selection table click here click here click here click on python make sure that you select cuda 12.6 since you have already installed cuda 12.6 compilers and this command will be generated note again that if you try to do everything on python 3.13 you might have an issue maybe if you're watching this video tutorial i don't know in february 2026 that is a year from now CUDA will create a support for Python 3.13 however currently it doesn't support and to convince you that this is the case you can just go down scroll down and you can see what are the recommended Python versions and this is very very important and it's clearly written here currently PyTorch on Windows only supports Python 3.9 until python 3.12 and this is very important to keep in mind okay go back to the command prompt and execute the generated command and this will install pytorch and this process might take a while since you're probably downloading and installing around three to four gigabytes in my case it's already being pre-downloaded pre that is it's being cached on my system consequently the installation procedure will be a little bit faster the next step is to install the required python packages and libraries to do that execute this command and again be patient since again it's going to take a while to download and install everything next we need to compile the texture models to do that type this then you need to run this command and let's hope that everything will go smoothly that is that we will not see 
any problems with compilers. Note over here that we are actually now trying to compile the model by using CUDA Toolkit compilers. So let's be patient since this might take a while. Okay, so after this, let's run this command to go to this folder and in this folder, again, we need to navigate to another folder and this, in this folder, we again need to run this file over here. So let's do that. Again, the process will actually be much quicker. Okay, good. Now let's go back to the base folder and now we are ready to start our graphics user interface. To start the graphics user interface, you need to execute this command. Let's explain what this command is actually doing. This command will first download the model weights from the Hugging Face repository. Note over here that you might be downloading around 20 or 30 gigabyte of model weights. Once the model weights are downloaded, then the graphics user interface can be executed in your web browser. So let's press enter and let's be patient since it's going to take a while to download the models and to start everything. In my case, the models might be already downloaded or cached on some other folder since I often start and restart this application. However, most likely in your case, if you're running this for the first time, you will see the download process, which might even take five to 10 minutes. Consequently, be patient. So after everything is downloaded and loaded, you will see this message. And this means that you can start the inference on your local web browser. So how to do that? Well, to do that, don't follow this link since if you do that, nothing will happen. You need to write it like this. So the address, localhost 8080. So copy this address, then open, for example, Edge or any web browser you like, press here and bang, it will start over here. Okay, so let's test the model. Meanwhile, you can also open a task manager and you can look at your GPU resources. You can see that the model is already loaded on my GPU since you can see that my GPU memory is more than half full. Okay, so over here, click, find the image. For example, I'm going to use the image that I showed you, this one, okay? Click on remove background. If you wanna play with the advanced options, that is if you want to increase the number of steps to get better results, you can do that and you can do some other things. So I'm going to click here to generate shape and texture. So click here and over here you can see the processing process will start. To see that the actual model is working, you need to open your task manager and you can see that my GPU resources are working super hard, 100%. And this means that the model is being created and then it's going to take maybe 60 seconds or even one minute to generate the 3D model. So let's wait. And then after several minutes, you will see the model over here and you need to basically see generate a texture mesh to see it in a nicer view. Here it is, looks amazing. The next step is to teach you how to open this model in Blender. Once the model is created, over here you will see the textured mesh, GLB and white mesh. The first file is just a generated 3D model and the second one is the model with texture and color. So let's download the second one. And if you open the file, you will see that it's over here, right? However, you would like to open it from Blender. So let's see where the file is. The file is in the download. And then let's start Blender and let's open this file. If you don't have Blender on your system, it's very easy to install Blender. Just go to the Blender website, download the Blender application and that's it. So let's open the model, click on file. By the way, so let me just show you what I did here. I click this on this box and then press delete, then click on file, click on import, make sure that you're importing GLB files, go to download, Here's the texture mesh, import it here, and here it is. Currently, you don't see over here the colors. To do that, you need to press here or here. Let's press here, 
and here it is looks beautiful and you can go from here and you can start your modeling process okay that's all for today and thanks for watching